Hello, we are Craig and Janice, and welcome back to another episode of Cruising Off Duty. Yes, we are the ones you've heard about that are sailing around in the beautiful Thousand Islands. Why aren't we sailing further? Well, that pesky work thing keeps getting in the way. So until we retire, it's these beautiful waters we will explore to the nth degree. In this episode, we're gonna talk about why we love having a cruising sailboat. It really is our floating cottage and has a lot of benefits over a regular cottage. The biggest benefit, of course, is that your cottage is always on the move. We have thousands of anchorages here, so you never have to look at the same view twice. That's the big benefit. The other benefit is that when you bring friends and family on board, there's something for them to do because moving from one anchorage to another requires a little bit of work on your part. And sometimes that's fun, especially for somebody who's new to boating. And for those weekends, you just want solitude, just you and your wife hanging out away from everybody else, not having to put up with noisy neighbors, then sailing or boating in general is awesome because you can always find a secluded anchorage. So in this episode, I'm gonna do sort of a collage of footage from a bunch of weekends, some when we have our family on board, some when we're alone, and the whole point is just to show you that owning a cruising sailboat is awesome. In my opinion, far superior to owning a cottage and probably superior to having a powerboat because, hey, I don't have to pay all that money to move my boat through the water. If you're looking forward to something like that, then keep watching this episode. If you enjoy it and you go, damn, Craig, that was a lot of work, then show the channel some love and hit that thumbs up button. It really helps us out, gets uh, YouTube to notice us. Then I can convert over even more people to sailing. And before you know it, Lake Ontario will be jam-packed and we won't be able to sail. Hmm. I didn't think of that. I guess there's a downside to more viewers, but let's cross that bridge when we get there. Hopefully you enjoy this episode and keep watching. Okay, we are on the ferry boat and the family is on. It's Father's Day. Having a boat is awesome when you have family events like Father's Day. Why hang out at somebody's house when you can hang out on a boat? There's the ferry boat. And there's Janice. We're at Father's Day. Christiana, Larry, and my mom, Sharon. Beautiful day. Not a lot of wind though. Right? No, but it's better than we'll take it because it was forecasting rain. We're sailing downwind with both sails. It wasn't the wildest of rides, but that's probably good because my mom's on board. Not bad, three and a half knots. No, and it's very nice out. Captain Craig at the helm. Mm -hmm. Happy Father's Day. Yeah, happy Father's Day. Sailing along with both sails, doing uh, 5.6.1 knots. Sweet. Yay team. Now you know that Janice is on board, so that means we're gonna get forced to go swimming no matter how cold it is. Okay, now it's recording. <laughs> Larry and Janice are swimming. Christiana jumped in. Christiana jumped, jumped in and, and cried and said, that's oh it, God, I'm done. It's too cold. And then I wasn't recording after all that. I hate you. So you're gonna jump in one more time to prove you did it. I can prove I did it, my hair is wet. She could have had a shower, but no, I'll look at I didn't jump in, so I shouldn't be talking. Then Craig has to jump in. No, that's not part of the deal. Okay, no, that wasn't I, the deal. Oh, look, look, waters are pretty green. Are you ready? On your mark. Yeah. Get set. I can see my toes. It's better than Ottawa River. Yeah, I like the color. It's kind of decent. It is. Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> You're taking too long. <laughs> no shit! <laughs> Larry doesn't usually complain. Larry doesn't usually complain and he's been ah, the whole time. This is not fun! I've adapted now. How cold do you think it is? Okay, I'll go get the thermometer. Oh my god. Okay, so Christiana's holding it in the water. We're gonna give it a, I don't know, 20 seconds. What are you, a polar bear? Larry's even doing it. All right, so she's, Larry's still in and Larry's stopped complaining. So he's either gone into hypothermia or it's not that bad. I revoke my citizenship. Okay, so you're in charge of telling us the temperature. What's it in Fahrenheit since most people are American and? 70. 70? Ah, it's flying. No, she's right. 70. What is that Celsius? Fahrenheit. 70, so I went in way colder water. Oh yeah, so you've gone way colder than this. You went in one time, it was like 59. It must be lying. It's I was in there like a minute and I lost feeling in my arm. <laughs> well, that was the end of a beautiful Father's Day. It was fun to get the family out, but these one day excursions are kind of tough because now our boat is two hours away from where we live. So having people come just for the day almost seems too short. So the next time we took Larry and Christiana out, we were not with my mom this time. So we were able to have them come for the weekend since there was enough room for everyone to sleep. And that allowed us to do a little bit more exploring. Hi everybody, it's Monday afternoon. We're back in Canada after our busy weekend in Sackets Harbor. 
where we did the paddle boarding and the sailing and the touring. Restaurant and, and lots of restauranting. And now we have my dad on board, Mary over there. Hello. And my daughter over here, hey. Christiana. And there's Frank. And we're heading over to the Canadian side of the Thousand Islands. Camelot so Islands. And Beau Rivage is somewhere Beau that, Rivage. yes. And we also want to hit the town of Gananoqua. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Should be good. It'll be awesome. Look at this dark storm coming. It's definitely sort of heading our way. We went from perfectly sunny days every day, we said it never rains, to out of nowhere a squall with lots of wind. Christiana's keeping me company. Yeah. Me and Larry Bale. Janice ran away saying she needed to make coffee, so that was her excuse. Grandpa's helping. Thanks for your raincoat, Matt. Welcome. All right, we have we sailed the first half. Yes, we did. And, th and then we had a storm, and everybody ran away except for Christiana, who stayed with me. Yeah, I had to make coffee. Yeah, she cried. She cried that it was raining and went down and got me coffee. <laughs> it was fun though. We barely yeah. missed the big, huge red section. Yeah, it was a big storm. Right at the needle. Yeah, with a big storm in front, big storm behind. We didn't get too badly affected. But now there's no wind, so we are motoring, and we are in. This is Beau Rivage back there on the left. Beau Rivage Anchorage back there. And we are about to go anchor behind this island on the left called Hay Island. And needless to say, we're in the Thousand Islands. There's islands everywhere. There's a tour boat over there. The white boat is a tour boat that's taking people around. You see the multitude of islands. We've never anchored at Hay Island, so this will be the first time. So we'll let you see what it's like when we get anchored. All right, so here is the bay. We got anchored in. Very nice, very nice. So we're gonna have barbecue and then we're going to go on a dinghy ride probably. Maybe as far as Gananoque. We shall see. Larry's taking pictures of me taking video of him. We're off on a family dinghy ride. Yay. All four of us. We're gonna see oh. how long it takes to get to Gananoque from here. And it's getting really beautiful again. So we just got back from Gananoque on the uh, dinghy. It was very, very nice. It's beautiful, the outing. Yeah, and look at how calm it is. There's our dinghy floating. Barely a, barely a breeze. It's a lot of birdies. We saw an osprey with, with a fish. Yeah. There's yeah. Some herons. We're gonna probably have an early night and get up early since we have guests and they they probably want to get up when it's brighter. Yeah. Well, it's just Janice and me. We tend to sleep until like really nine, easy. nine thirty. Or later. Yeah. So. Go to bed early, get up early. And then we're gonna do stuff. She'll fish, we're gonna swim, make a big breakfast. Yeah, family time. And Good then... morning and welcome to another beautiful day. You can see behind me. Back to the perfect blue skies. So yesterday's rain was like a one-off. Wasn't really even in the forecast too, but this is one of the benefits of having a sailboat. I always try and promote having a sailboat for cruising around whatever your local sailing ground is. But another thing is just being able to take friends and family with you. So. Grandpa Larry's back there, relaxing under the bimini. Christiana's over there, fishing with the dinghy. Want the rigs. Over easy. How do you want your eggs? Over easy. So there she is over there. And Janice is down below making a wonderful breakfast for us. We had a calm and beautiful night last night to sleep, so no bouncing around, which is always nice. I mean, love the weather, but if it's windy, you gotta bounce and that gets a little tiresome when you're trying to sleep, so uh, yeah. Couldn't ask for more than this. So anyways, my job is to go down and make toast now for our lovely breakfast we're about to have. So I gotta go. Talk to you in a bit. All right, so we're all out here. There's Larry waiting to eat once we all sit our butts down. Yummy breakfast. Yum. Summertime on the water. Yeah. 
Good morning. Good morning. We're having our breakfast on the back here. Beautiful day. It's another beautiful day, surprising. Hello. Okay. Lots of birdies in the background. Yeah, a lot of them. Christiana caught a fish already. There's um, a heron over there that's building a nest or whatever. It's a beautiful spot. I like the spot. We'll come up here again now. Janice is of course swimming, no matter what the temperature is. Yeah. And Larry is going to join her. There's why. Puts his whole head under. Oh. Okay. So Janice is going to check the pool thermometer. Does it seem colder than no? Uh, you can take a guess before you look. I'm getting 75 vibes. Uh, it's broken. Oh no, we broke it? <laughs> no oh no, we broke our pool thermometer. Okay, I'm gonna say I won at 75. <laughs> Scrub a dab dab! Hey Janice is getting her scrub a dub going on. No. <laughs> so we're in the Camelot Islands again with Christiana and Larry. That's Christiana. Hey. That's a small anchorage. Okay, Larry. It's it's pretty cute, but that that is supposedly an anchorage there in there. It's pretty narrow. There's another little anchorage here, and um, that's a federal park spot. Oh, wow, there's quite a few sailboats. It seems like quite the spot for our Tuesday evening for these federal park mooring balls. There's actually a deposit box that you're supposed to pay. And uh, if you don't, Parks Canada will find you. The Parks Canada boats do patrol. That one's anchored too. Are they medward? Like they're all, they all have a bow anchor. Yeah, they are medward. They're tied to the trees in the back and then in the front they have an anchor. Why they are so close together. Yeah, you gotta get really close to shore to be able to anchor because it's still thick. Okay, we are sailing back from the Camelot Islands to Beau Rivage, and I am sailing in between some really narrow passages. As you can see, there's iron doors, and you take it all off everywhere. Oh, there's this nest. And we're looking, there's a nest in the top of this tree with, we think of, it's an osprey. Yeah, it's, a, it's an osprey. And I hear baby chirping. I hear baby bird. We noticed the bird sitting in the dead tree, but did not notice. A nest full of other birdies back there. A lot of chirping going on, but that is awesome. That's how their nests look. So we're getting towards our anchorage. It's very beautiful, with like cliffs of forest on these little islands. It's as good as Algonquin Park, I was saying. And Algonquin Park is like my second home. I love camping in Algonquin Park. There's great. This is Beau Rivage Anchorage. So we're gonna anchor here for a couple of hours and swim and stuff. Last year we were here, there was a little swan family. So I'm hoping to see swans here. Okay, of course Janice is in. No shock to anybody who watches the channel. I'm gonna go in now, even though, ah, ho, 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 ho. Even though I'm not gonna like it. She, what did she just call me? Did you just call me a big baby? She called me a big baby. I'm not denying I'm a big baby. Larry's like, just get in so I can get out. It's so cold. <laughs> That's his true feelings. He tells me it's warm, but he's lying. Okay. This is not warm. It's warm. What oh, are you it's talking about? Middle, middle of July. <laughs> this is not. It's you're the, not going to get the better. The temperature that you get. <laughs> this is the temperature that you get. <laughs> Deal with it. Oh, crap. Oh, oh. I just threw my bathing suit. But after hearing that, oh, no. Wait, watch out for the goose. The goose is going to give you a peck in the head. And there's weeds. Cold no. weeds. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's not as warm as I thought it would be here. It is actually quite chilly. You Really? You're not even denying it. You're not even denying it. Oh my God, Janice. Why do you keep doing this to me? It's very good for like endorphins and... Endorphins. Yeah. She's worried about my endorphin level. Good for you. What is an endorphin? You know, the feel good hormone. Oh, this is my feel good hormone? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. Okay. So, um, judging from my stepdad's reaction that was audible from the bathroom, I'm presuming I'm going to hate my life. No. Once you're in, it, you kind of go numb. He's a big baby. 
<laughs> once, you, once you stop feeling your body, it's not so bad. It sounds absolutely wonderful. You better get in quick because we're going to go numb soon. Oh, great. All right. Come on. Ew, gross! Oh, <laughs> fudge! Ew, it's nasty! It wrapped around my leg! Oh. Nobody expected you to jump in. That's going to make you deeper. Yeah, definitely going to put you near the weed. Oh. There are weeds. It is cold. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I'm out of here. You thought we were exaggerating about the weeds. You're going to check this out. I think this is the last time we're going to anchor at Beauvage because this is the only place that has weeds like this. So part of... Lifting anchor sometimes in these places is getting all the weeds off your anchor before you you finally get the anchor off the bottom because once you do you can start drifting. But uh, Janice has the unenviable task of using the boat hook and trying to get it off the chain. It's only in we haven't had this problem too many places, but Beau Rivage is one of them. It's very weedy and the chain sort of just collects anything that's blowing by. Okay, so I'll go back and uh, steer. Steer. All right. So Jazz is gonna have to take this Sasquatch off, and uh, luckily it's not windy, so yeah. we're not drifting back too fast. But if it was a really windy day, we don't have a lot of room for air here. It's very shallow behind us. There's like a peninsula that leaves that island and goes out here. That's very shallow. So if it was super windy, we'd be moving back pretty quickly. Oh, she got the big chunk. Check it out. Check it out. The muscles. Not the whole thing, but That's still, it, it weighs a lot, eh? <laughs> yeah, I, I work out here. I know one time I took, eh, we took a sat. Look, it's bending the pole. Eh. One time we had a Sasquatch this size or bigger, and we, I swear, I had to manually lift it off, and it weighed, must have weighed 70 pounds. Well, it was so it heavy. All right, I'll go back and make sure we don't drift. That is just certain anchorages when there's a lot of weeds. That's what you got to deal with. But other than that, this is a beautiful anchorage. And with that, it was time to leave Beau Rivage and head across a big bay called the 40 Acres over to another anchorage called Breaky Bay. We love Breaky Bay. Awesome for swimming, lots of birds, no weeds to speak of, which is going to make Christiana very happy. And Breaky Bay will be our third anchorage of today. Try and do that with your regular land-based cottage. Not going to happen. It was a light wind, downwind sail, so I'm showcasing a little bit of my sailing chops by doing a little wing-on-wing -wing action. It was a beautiful day with the family. This is what every day in summer should be like. Okay, we are anchored here in Breaky Bay. Beautiful day. There's the sun glimmering off the water. Larry and I had some sailing time together, mm -hmm. but then the wind completely died, so we had to uh, motor the last bit. Christiana was painting and now reading, so she's enjoying the outdoors. And Janice is just getting her bathing suit on to go swimming yet again. You know, Janice, any chance to go swimming? Are you going swimming? I, I think I might, yes. Larry, Larry is cut from the same cloth. Yeah. Christiana and I probably won't go swimming. So we'll I see. might fish. Maybe. She might fish. Yeah, she might take the dinghy here and, and go uh, fishing. Maybe we can do a blog of the stars after because it's so clear. If it is, yeah. Larry can tell us all about the stars. <laughs> Although I don't know if the camera will pick them up, but Larry can just wax on poetically about the stars that you can't see. So, <laughs> how's that? <laughs> you can look forward to that. Talk to you later. Okay, I'm gonna let Janice lie to the viewing public. She's gonna tell us how warm it is again. It's lovely. Oh, it's lovely. It's bath water warm. See, she's gonna say it's warm, but did you hear that? <sighs> That's a warning that it's actually not warm. Oh, refreshing. At least she's admitting it's refreshing. Usually she lies to me at this point and says, Come on in, it's so nice. That's what I was saying when they go to the Nordic Spa. She jumps on the ice water and does the exact same <gasps> oh, sound. Oh, I know. <laughs> does she try and convince you to come in as well? Yeah, that doesn't happen. I know, she tried the same thing with me. She's evil. Actually, cool. Everybody else in the Nordic Spa says that's the cold pool. You're the only one that thinks it's medium. Anyways, she's crazy. The other crazy. one's like the ice pool. It's like yeah. a mountain pool. The other one's ice water. No, it's... It is called ice water. It's the glacier pond. It's the glacier pond. Yeah, the glacier pond. <laughs> You're a polar bear, just admit it. Say bye to the viewing public and, and stop lying to them. <laughs> and with that, it was time to sail back to Kingston and drop off Larry and Christiana. Obviously, we had an awesome time, and I hope you understand what I'm trying to tell you is having a cruising sailboat when you're moving multiple anchorages in one day is an awesome activity for you and your whole family. 
I think it's far more enjoyable than just a land-based cottage where you get the same view every day, all the time. It gets boring after a while. Believe me, I know. So if you're the type of person that likes to have a lot of friends and family around, obviously a cruising sailboat is awesome for that. But if you're the type who wants to get away from everybody and just read a good book, a cruising sailboat is good for that as well. Coming episodes, Janice and I are alone, and we love our alone time as well as we explore the Thousand Islands. Here's a little piece. Motoring into our anchor. We're passing the Royal Military College there. Craig is there. And Wolf Island is behind us with the windmills. And the Fort Henry is over here, up on the hill. And we're going to anchor right near that tower over there. Okay, so Janice just dropped the anchor up there, and we are perfectly situated. The sun is setting here in Navy Bay. And I think Janice might have mentioned that to you, but this is the Royal Military College, this whole thing here. So that's there. That's why it's called Navy Bay. And on the other side over here is Fort Henry. There's one of the lookout towers on the water and behind it, up on the hill, you can sort of see some of the, the wall, the outer wall of the fort. Yeah, beautiful view on a beautiful day. We got here just before sunset. Yeah. Now this is, we're not going to get to see sunset right to the water because of course the land is in the way, but still very, very, yeah, very, <laughs> yes, that's right. Janice. <laughs> Janice made the decision. The, I overruled him. The the admiral the admiral spoke, and she was right. She was right to to not wait till tomorrow morning. Awesome. This is the life. Yes. Summer should go on and on forever, shouldn't it? I love summer. Love summer in Ontario. It's awesome. Yeah. Perfect weather. Shorts and t-shirts. Mm -hmm. Sun is about to set. Yeah, it's after 8 p.m. and I don't need a, a sweater. It's yeah. Amazing. Rum and coke. You got yours too? I do. And the breeze is just nice to cool us off. But So we got to take advantage of this being Canadian because there's Our not weather a... like this is very short lived or, or, or you don't get the summer. The last year we did not get weather like this at all. I never wore yeah. a tank top last summer without summer. something over top last year. Yeah. But this summer's been awesome. So far, so sunny good. all the time. Our whole vacation it was sunny. Yeah. You know, so we can't complain. Yeah. But yeah, watching the sun go down. Yeah. We'll enjoy our rum and cokes until the sun goes down. Yay! Ching ching! Bye for now. Don't worry, there'll be more episodes of just Janice and I sailing around to places like Picton, Sugar Island, and other places in the Thousand Islands. And hopefully, after seeing this episode, I've convinced you that a cruising sailboat is the way to go. So if you've got a cottage, call your real estate agent, sell that thing, and go get yourself a sailboat. Operators are standing by. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. If so, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe because there's plenty more stuff coming along. And uh, yeah, thanks to the patrons that support the channel. Without them, I don't think I could do it. The gear I have to use for this channel is super expensive and they help me you know, mitigate the cost. So thank you, you guys. You guys rock. Well, that's it for now. Until next time, this is Craig signing off, wishing you safe cruising.